Well, the man accused of killing three bears in western North Carolina gets his punishment. The district attorney's office in Madison County tells us Jeff Bunkley was given two years of probation, a fine of just over $2,000 and 50 hours of community service. Well, this is the scene of where those bears were dismembered and dumped back in November. We had to blur it because it was just so gruesome. Well, Bunkley will also not be able to hunt for five years. And for much more on this case, we now want to bring in Jody Williams with Help Asheville Bears. And Jody, you were the driving force into bringing attention to this case. Your organization offered up the reward for that arrest, and you were there at the courthouse yesterday in Madison County. So seeing this punishment handed down, yes, sir. your initial reaction? You know, uh, there's a lot of people thinking this wasn't harsh enough. And I agree, there should be harsher punishments, but that's a change that uh, has to be made so that the judge can go by the guidelines. But for the punishments that are there for right now, um, we are pretty pleased with this, to be honest, because in the past, especially ever since Operation Something Brewing, they just haven't done a lot at all on catching poachers, uh, following up on things, or even getting them actually convicted. Um, we were pleased to see this gentleman caught, convicted, wildlife did their job, and uh, the judge really did uh, hand down almost as much as he could have. And it's quite typical on a first offense that you get, like, like he did, 45 days uh, in jail but suspended. It's quite typical to get something like that as long as you follow the guidelines of what the judge says. And to have uh, just over $8,000 in fines, I mean, even the judge uh, uh, fined him an extra $500 for littering above 15 pounds, but below 500. I mean, he really did do a great job on that. Uh, the only thing I think he could have done more is uh, added another $2,232 uh, charge because he only did two of those instead of three. But again, uh, he's got to pay this little over $8,000 in a, in a, in a very limited amount of time. And, uh, He's also got to do 50 hours of community service and two years of supervised probation. To me, that's that's pretty big because most people can't get through a year of that. I mean, that that ch totally intensely changes his life. So he's definitely going to be paying for this for a while. And you had said something as far as the, the harsher punishment. That's something that you have to push for. Is that something that you're hoping to do yourself, kind of push for harsher punishments? Because we've talked plenty of times, and you had said poaching, poaching is, is, is a real problem. It, it is a real problem, and hopefully we can work on that here in the future. Um, it's just there's guidelines of, you know, set parameters of what you can get charged with or punished with on whatever crime it may be. And in poaching cases, uh, it, it's just not harsh enough, I don't think. And... I saw other wildlife cases in that courtroom that day that were totally, I, I, they just did not do enough. $100 fine, and, you know, they didn't even lose their hunting license or may have for a year. Um, you know, they, they can take guns. They can they can do a lot, lot more. So I think these punishments need to be harsher so it doesn't happen again. And everybody says, well, why would they take his hunting license for five years when he was a poacher anyway? Well, the reason for that is get that on paper, basically. And if he's ever caught again, that makes that charge even harsher. There's, it'll step it up a level, so to speak. And uh, th these charges, and this, this goes commensurate with a lot of states also. All right. Well, like you said, hopefully this doesn't happen again and we don't have to revisit it. But we thank you for your time as always, Jody. Appreciate it. Uh, thank you, guys.